Are you just telling you know, Principal down in the middle school and so we were here in person? Um, I have done this a different time. We've done it at four, we've done it at five, six, seven. Usually four or five, we get it at a turnout. Sometimes it's hard for parents at work. Actually, the best time usually is three o'clock, and they all can stay after when we have buses, and they all stay. So if their parents can come, we'll let them know ahead of time and take some time off of work. Sometimes they just can't, but at least all the kids can enjoy it. But we'll do something special for the kids that couldn't make it here today because it's very important. This is Mr. DeBan, our advisor for National Junior Honor Society. He's put a lot of work into this. Like I said, it's his first time. He did a great job. And you should be very proud of the students. Um, before we begin, please stand for the pledge. I know the students get to do it again. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Did you see it? I'll turn it over to Mr. Dan to do the introduction. Welcome to the 2022 National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have selected by the faculty and our school who successfully completed their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of our NJHS chapter. For current members and those former members who may be among us and guests, we hope that you serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious group of student recognition program. In addition to the strong academic records as well established the eligibility for membership of our chapter, which leads uh, leads to many students and organizations as we serve our school and community through many activities, including fundraising events, drive to help people less fortunate, and several other community activities. We are very proud of this record of accomplishment and welcome these new members who bring new energy in support of our continuing work as NJHS members. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Donovan Middle Schools chapter for the National Junior Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the five qualities that serve as standards for our society. All right, our first quality is leadership. And I just want to stress you how hard it is to get into the National Junior Honor Society. And a lot of our kids go on to Proctor to get into their Honor Society. And a lot of our kids end up in the top ten. I don't want to point out anybody's name, but we have someone here today who does have someone in the, in the top two of Proctor. So it's really a great thing to start out here. And if you work hard, if you go to Proctor and work hard, you know, the sky's the limit. So leadership, so bear with me, there's five of these things that your child is here because of, and I just want you to read about those two because they're very important, because they have to meet these qualities to be a National Junior Honor Society. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same goal. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country and school, they are not affected without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus to lead is a serious charge to each of our members and candidates. So it's not easy, especially in middle school, to be a leader. All right, next we have scholarship. Scholarship is commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours reading and studying, knowing when the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended. Knowledge is one of the great elements in life, which leads to the highest success. So again, you're here, you work hard, you continue that when you go on to Proctor, they already stay in Donovan for eighth grade. But we're starting you out now, seventh grade, eighth grade, Proctor. You only got four or five more years left of school. Service means you help others. 
In the routine of the day, hard work, many opportunities arise to help others. And I look at you, and I see you in the hallways, and I know that you help your teachers, you help others. And I'm sure your parents and families would say you help at home. Maybe not. Character is a force within each person which distinguishes that person from others. It is with this force of character which guides one through life, and when one is developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved, not received. Abigail Caesar. Cameron Bryce. Tiffany Andrea Meeley's Andrea Meeley Sula. So I'm trying, I'm trying. Catherine Figaro. Akasha Urban. Amalia Davis. Eliana Curley. Kim Lynn Koo. Marion Tu. Blessing Tu. Amaya Harrison. Abdul Hamid. A. Gay. Priscilla Moon Chet. Temperance Lanero. Daryana Rivera Mejias. Juliana P. Justice Pearson. Da Hu Ha. Harper Nappy. Jayla Wiggins. Berlin Toledo Valdez. Vanessa Fett. <laughs> Isaiah Swan Palapan. <laughs> Raphael Suswain. Elise Simmons. A. Mu Shi. Trevor Windover. Jackson Wynn. Malak Alphala Alphala. Joanna Padilla. Singing will have some snacks in the back. All right, I think we're done. Start heading back to your seats. If you don't have the correct certificate, we're going to switch those up in a minute after the ceremony. Yeah, You don't need to be in the same spot, it's fine. And we're going to do a pledge. So this is your pledge for membership. So after you do this pledge, you will be official members of the National Junior Honor Society. So I will say a sentence, and then you will say a sentence. Let's try to say it together. My first sentence. I pledge myself to uphold. The high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society. 
to which I have been selected, I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, leadership, service, citizenship, and character. All right, stay standing. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for the 2022 National Junior Science Society of the All right, thank you so much for coming. It's great to have people back in person. I get it. It's weird because I get to come to assemblies and the presentations like we used to. So it's great. I'm glad to be back in front of real people, not on a computer. Um, at this time, I'm going to have the National Junior Honor Society file out to the music wing. Okay, walk out there with Mr. Dan Mika on the certificates, make sure they get the right ones. And then everybody else is going to head to the back out there for cake, treats. There's some students out there helping you survey, and then your inductees will meet you out there in a minute. I'm going to have a quick conversation with them. Thank you for coming.